Aha, dinky do me hotties. A very good evening to you. Tis me, Scotty McClure, and a big dinky do to you. It's uh, Wednesday evening. It's a quarter past eight in the evening. Dinky do to you, Jake Alexander. How lovely to have you with us. And welcome, welcome, welcome. I thought I'll just do a quick pop up and see who's about. And here we all are. It's just Fantastic. Thank you very much for joining us. You're watching Scotty McClue, hashtag Floatai, the first lord of the internet. Remember, never scroll and never troll. Dinky do. Follow us as soon as you come on and subscribe, of course. Excellent stuff. Thank you, Big Cheese. Wonderful. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Kevin. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do from me, Scotty McClue. Excellent stuff. I think this is quite a good time for us to get together because there's nothing really doing on the telly or radio. And uh, why not come and join us? Follow us as soon as you can. How lovely to have you with us. Thank you, Arnis. Thank you so much to all my beautiful followers who have just followed right this second. Evening, Scotty. Hope you've had a good day. Absolutely, Kenny. Hi, Scotty, says Susan. Hello, Susan. I hope you're all looking forward to Saturday night. There's Martin and Emma. We love you. Thank you, Martin and Emma. Dinky do to you too. I say, how lovely to have you with us. Now then, as everybody followed as soon as you come and join us, there's Oak and Aaron following us. And a very, very warm welcome, I say. Dinky do. Scotland is a dump, says DJ98. You've obviously never been DJ98, so we'll just let you go. Be quiet, sweaty sock says Cousine 99, who's obviously a half-witted idiot. So we'll send him down the swanee. Right, guys, lifetime ban for Cousine. Half-wit. There he goes. Wonderful. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, who's the dapper gentleman in the picture behind you, Mr. McClue? Ah, that is moi. Absolutely. Oh, well, there we are. The Labrador is Lord Reith. Isn't he beautiful? Uh, do you like Iron Brew? Oh, Jake, of course. So there we are. dinky do. Now then, what's happening with you? Give us your chit-chat. I want to know. We're not up for very long, so let's make the best of it. You've got a chance of speaking to the world's top broadcaster, hashtag float high, first lord of the internet and the world's most humble man. That's rather good, isn't it? A shout out to Nick. Absolutely, DJ. No problem at all. Uh, what's your favourite movie, Scotty? <clears throat> well... Wee bit of a trolley question, but I think we covered this the other day. The Sound of Music is probably my absolute all-time favourite. But I like a lot of the old Second World War films. They're rather good as well. John Wheeler, thank you so much for following. Follow, guys, as soon as you come on. Time is tight, and this is a rarity. So get yourself following. So there we go. Now... Uh, Di Gorvira, you mustn't assume everybody has your lifestyle. Some of us are very decent people. And a half wit like you, gone. There we go. Who we got here? And I think we'll get rid of this for the Christian guy. He's a bit daft as well. There we are. Guys, remember, just for the record, never, ever, ever, ever troll Scotty McClure. It won't do you any good. You'll just end up doing this one. There's a wonderful Maria Knight has sent me a chief executive officer. Thank you. <coughs> CEO. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, how are we getting on? I'm currently in Balquida. Aha! Uh, the uh, resting place of Rob Roy McGregor. Am I right in Balquida? Kirkyard. Although there was some doubt, wasn't there? Kevin says, uh, Dodze from the Isle of Man. We know Kev. Yes, absolutely. And lovely. To have you with us and a very kind and generous man. Uh, Twisty Noise has sent me a panda. Isn't that beautiful? We love that. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Hello, Scotty. Hope you're well. OMG, hi, says Tomato. You say tomato, I say tomato. Fantastic. That's what it's all about. Dinky do. Never disrespect the chat. Absolutely, Jonathan. These half witted idiots do not have enough brain cells to hold a conversation. So they will post some rubbish and we will dump them. That's what it's all about. Big respect for the chat on here. How lovely to have you all with us. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Kenny says, as the kids say, I'm buzzing for Saturday. Looking forward to it. 
If I wasn't so anxious, I'd call, but enjoy listening. Kenny, I think you should just call anyway, and we will look after you. Right, all callers are welcomed on the internet phone in. The Scotty McClue YouTube channel, which is just simply Scotty McClue, the internet phone in. So make sure you're subscribed to that. But uh, big respect for the chat. I've never been on here before. Ah, well, you have now. How lovely to have you with us. So ever been to the garage in Glasgow? I've been to several garages with all sorts of problems, I could tell you. Uh, there we are. But I do have my own local garage, which I am a massive fan and intensely loyal to. Uh, why should I join your live? Well, why would you not, Tomato? I mean, you'd need to be completely devoid of any intelligence to not join my live. Everybody joins my live. Everybody, if you've got a TikTok account, you should be following Scotty McClue, the one stop broadcaster, hashtag Flutai, the first lord of the internet. Why on earth would you not join my live? You know what I mean? There you are. That's the way to look at it. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you for five beautiful weights, Aaron Ladd. What an absolute top man. Very, very kind of you. Uh, so there we are. You were amazing on OF. Couldn't believe what you could do. So there we are. Oh, fantastic desire. Yes, absolutely. And you were amazing as well. Do you know what I mean? I think you're maybe more amazing than me if such a thing were possible. There we are. The picture's poor tonight, Scotty. Oh, is it Susan? Sorry to hear that. Streaky Bacon. Hello, Scotty. How are you diddling? Dinky do, Streaky. How lovely to have you with us. Is the picture poor? Do tell us a bit more about that. There we are. So there you should go on. Britain's Got Talent. We should tomorrow. Yes. Hey, Scotty. How are we? Dinky do, casual gamer. How lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome to our live pop-up. Now then, who have we got here? Share the video and follow us, guys. What's that in your head? That I'll show you right now. On my head, upon my head, be it. Just a wee second, there we go. That's it. Now, if you look closely, you'll see the Scotty McClue Dinky Doo badge. Now, that's a great rarity and very, very sought after. I've got one here. I'll show you it at close quarters. Can you see that? Scotty McClure, Dinky Do Badge. And when we become TikTok famous, as we should do, then I will be able to give you one of these as merch. So you'll be able to get a Scotty McClure Badge either on TikTok or on the YouTube channel. Scotty McClure Dinky Do just for you. Is that not fantastic? Uh, I meant the club garage. Lots of love, Scotty. Oh, Marto Man. Yes, oh, I'm into garage and few banging tunes, all that stuff. Dinky do. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Let's get following. How's the picture doing, guys? Is it okay? Somebody said it wasn't terribly good. Who is uh, Highlander has sent me seven beautiful red roses. Highlander, I can't thank you enough. Beautiful, beautiful people on here. The generosity is fantastic. Yes, my fellow Irish fella. Absolutely. Well, we're all Irish to a greater or lesser extent. But uh, I'm a Scotsman, believe it or not. From the Western Isles of Scotland, how are you doing today, William? Lovely to have you with us. Uh, so what have we got here? Skin Bob, there is no spat at all. Uh, we had to uh, we had to bump them because uh, the language was poor. So unfortunately, we had to put a stop there. We can't have bad language on the internet, and it wasn't doing the movement any good to have swearers. You know what I mean? So there you go. So I'm afraid that's over. It's all over for him. There we go. Thank you, Skin Bob. Share that as soon as you possibly can. Thank you, Maria, for sharing the video. How much to buy one of the badges? Well, Martiman, they're not for sale at the moment. Once we build up our YouTube channel and TikTok, then uh, we'll get the badges out there big style. Uh, you look a wee bit misty tonight, Scotty. What are you up to there in the sauna? 
Well, I did take my shoes off earlier, so it might be that. Uh, could I have one of your badges, buddy, when we get them, Martin? This is the only one I've got uh, here just now. So there we are, Scotty McClure. Thank you, do, but they're very, very beautiful and very sought after. Of course, I've got one in my hat, and I think... No, there's not one in the back of this hat, but the other hat's got one in the back in case one breaks down. Looking good. Thank you, Neil Pizza Man. Where can I get one? We'll get you one, Trevor. Ah, uh, you are TikTok famous. No, no, not yet. To be TikTok famous, I would say I need about a million followers and 10 million likes. So get working on that, guys. Everybody on the internet should be following. I would buy it, says Tomato. What, what price, Tomato? We need to know what, what would be a nice price for a Scotty McClue badge. Have another look at it and do a bit of pricing for me. Price the merchandise, I say. It's a very swish badge, you know. You've got it there, fantastic stuff. And there's another beauty here that I got given. I think this is rather fun. So there we are. Uh, the most desirable man in the world. <laughs> That's rather nice, isn't it? Is the phone in on tonight? Uh, not tonight, VJ. Saturday night. £2.50, says Susan. Is everybody up for that? Is that a good price? Thank you very much. Uh, yes, I'm a wee bit misty, a wee bit misty-eyed. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's something on the camera and it's needing tidied up. Hey, up, Scotty, says Stevie Blade. How lovely to have you all with us and a big dinky you do. I like your hat. Guys, have we got following? Get following and get sharing. And get tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap for the likes to go up. Uh, or five pounds. Five pounds, Martin. Or well, five pounds. Is that not a lot of money for a Scotty McClure badge? There it's there. Mind you, I remember uh, two of them went for 600 pounds each at a charity auction. <laughs> That's not bad, is it? Uh, fantastic stuff. So Saturday night, 9 o'clock on the Scotty McClue YouTube channel, guys, for the phone in. Never, ever miss it, okay? And get on to the YouTube channel and subscribe. Yes, I did see that, Scotty. The language was shocking. It was shocking, Robert, and we had to ban him. You can't have halfwits going around swearing, you know what I mean? You just can't have that. Uh, and he was also actually quite rude, I thought. I mean, I'm making a very, very, very good point, and I thought he was quite rude, really. Um, and have you noticed how few of the people were actually debating it? They were just going about going, no. You know, and that's not, uh, that. these people shouldn't be speaking for a movement of that sort of importance. You should make notebooks with your face, buddy, like your badge. A wee notebook, yes. What, diary size or reporter size? I don't know. We used to have a notebook about here. Then I don't know where it is. Uh, so there were a good idea, though, Martin. There were Martin think, thinks five pounds for a Scotty McClure badge. Uh, I've got my whole family subscribed to YouTube. Love you, big man. Martin, that is so, so, so very kind of you. What an absolute top man. Martin, man, top man. Fantastic. That's what it's about. How are you keeping, Scotty? Ah, silly Anne. How lovely to have you with us and dinky do keeping very well. I hope you are your good self as well. Two pounds, maybe, says to Mara. Two pounds. Love the joke you posted about the turkey for 25 pounds. <laughs> Thank you. We don't get a lot of feedback on the wee jokes, but I like to. It's only 15 seconds. So what if nobody goes for it? There's one I told them about my grandfather, 35,000 of you went for it. And tonight we've got a nice little bit of inspiration for you. So check out all the TikTok videos, guys. Can you see them right now as soon as you come on? Somebody's been at the tap, tap, tapity, tapity, tap. We've got 3,700 likes already. Uh, your punk quality is phone on here, Scotty. Your YouTube is pixelating. Ah, I'm sorry to hear that, guys. Are we getting a bit of pixelating on the YouTube tonight? Uh, not so good. 
Uh, good picture, though, on the uh, TikTok. I like the badge, Scotty. Your picture's fine. Scotty Eddie boy, is it fine on the old TikTok? Uh, how's it looking now? There's the badge again, guys. If you're just joining us and you think, what's a Scotty McClure badge look like? That's it there. They're very, very famous. I think if everybody had one of those. And you can see the one on my hat. Guys, can you see it uh, the right way up? There we are. Do you remember when the MTV Awards were in Leith? Were you there? Do you know, Jordan, I think I was. I attended so many functions. And a lovely, lovely thing happened the other day, Jordan. My uh, former boss and chief executive officer posted and he said, Thank you, Scotty, for turning a half million pound project into a £26 million success story. Scotland's finest ever radio station. And he's 100% right. It's, it's such a lovely thing. And I've popped that little comment and video up onto the TikTok and the YouTube guys. The picture's fine. There we are. Maybe it's people's kit and there's nothing to do with what we are transmitting. Hello, Scotty, from this side of the pond. Dinky do. Have you followed me? A walk with nature. How lovely to have you with us. So from America, we just love it. Good evening from Inverkip. I hope you're well. Where did you go to uni? Well, I went to uni in Glasgow because that's actually the finest university. Don't be fooled by English universities in that Scotland had four universities when England only had two. And the two top colleges, I would say, at Oxford are Oriel and Balliol. And I think if I'm right in thinking, they're both Scottish colleges. Although John Buchan went to Brasenose. Yes, there we are. Mugs, diaries, four or five pounds, says Martin. Martin, you're obviously a very good businessman. Would you get pens made with Scotty on it? Yes, I don't know. We'd need to... We don't want to make too much stuff. You want to get what is useful to people. And the badges will obviously, they're evergreen. They're, they're very popular. Jumpers and jackets. Can you play the pipe, Scotty? I can't, Streaky Bacon. But my father was a wonderful piper. My grandfather was a wonderful piper. My great-grandfather and great-uncle made bagpipes. Beautiful, beautiful bagpipes. They actually made them. Incredible stuff. Now, what else have we got here? Um, and I'll tell you a story. Great Uncle John had contracted um, throat cancer when he was elderly. And he burned a lot of his pipes because he was anxious that somebody else might catch it, the poor love. And his woodwork was just outstanding. Uh, there we go. So, no, I can't, Streaky. Uh, that's what's what's going on here. What's the phone in about? I like what you do. Cillian, you'll catch the phone in. You'll get a bit of it on the TikTok videos. And you'll also get a lot of it on the YouTube channel. You'll get last Saturday's uh, phone-in show. You'll get the Hogmanay show. So I would seriously, seriously recommend that you get yourselves onto the YouTube channel and subscribe and have a look at the wonderful videos on there. They're all for your information, education, enjoyment, and um, and delight. So there you go. So the phone ends. We can't be as outrageous as we used to be on the radio, but, uh, but people just love it. PC Ventress and his egg sandwiches, says Charlie. Charlie, you know I loved PC Ventress. As much as you do. What a wonderful guy. Aidan's Fair Place. Ah, oh, yes. I see. Right. Right, we'll look into that. Thank you very much. Egg sandwich, tea. <laughs> and then he goes, all right. All's been broken into. I think I might know who's done that. Old-fashioned country policing. You can't beat it. Fat like Jimmy, says Roscoe. Love from Glasgow, says Kirsty. How lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. 
and a big dinky do eyes. And of stuff. Uh, right, struggling without the booze today, Scotty. No, no, keep going, go without. Uh, don't be struggling, do something else altogether. You don't need the booze. By the way, my name is pronounced Killian, but it's spelt silly in case the Irish uh, sees English. Right, there we are. Well, we'll call you Killian. Is it Killian or Killian? Right, do tell me. First or second, Killian or Killian? I feel that the optician here, is it better like this or like that? Again, like this or like that? Killian or Killian? First or second? Did you know John Buchan, John Buchan was the first Baron of Tweedsmuir? Well, he was actually Baron Tweedsmuir, Lord Tweedsmuir. He was indeed. And um, yes, I do. I know quite a lot about John Buchan. Um, I've read extensively on him. He was the Governor General of Canada. And he went to Hutchison's school in Glasgow. I'm alcoholic. It's a glass, the booze. Uh, ah, right. Yes. Oh, well, if you're alcoholic, stay, stay well clear of it. Well clear of it. The man, the myth, the legend, because you've already done so much good work. There's Josh. Dinky do, Josh. Scotty McClure. First one, Scotty. So Killian. Killian. Right? Have I got that right? Tell me if Killian correct. Give me a thumbs up, I say to you. Do you need a music license to me because my DJ plans are to play in public weddings, parties and birthdays? I don't know, Martin. So there you are. Does anybody know if you need a music license to DJ? There we are. Now, what we got? Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, Joey. How lovely to have you with us and such a warm welcome. Guys, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, hashtag float high, all uppercase. The world's top broadcaster, TikTok's top talk show, and YouTube's superstar. So there you go, fantastic. I don't know, Martin, but we'll find out. We'll get people to tell us, what do you need to be a DJ? I know so many DJs, Martin. I could just ask them. HG Golf, thank you for my beautiful red rose. So very kind of you. Scotty, I feel like you would be great at opera. Well, I did work for an opera company for four years. So there you are. So I've worked in opera and loved every second of it. Then I went into uh, television and read the news. And then I went into radio. And the rest is history. Who are the two people in the pictures behind you? Uh, well, that one there, straight behind me, is me with uh, Lord Wreath the Labrador, beautiful dog. And that one there is me without Lord Wreath the Labrador. So there you go. Hello from Port Glasgow, John Boy. We love Port Glasgow. Dinky do to the port. Are you an original Portonian, John Boy? Celtic or Rangers, my friend, Honky Donkey. They're both excellent teams. Go and see them play and then make up your mind who you're going to support. And remember, you don't need to support them all the time. People change. So you could be Rangers one week, Celtic the next. That's a big thing. There we are. Morning, Lord Duke of Dundee, Onion Badger from Australia. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Where was the 39 steps set? I thought there was a Kinross connection. Well, the um, Kenneth Moore one, was that 1960 or was it 50s? Was it the 1950s, the late 1950s, I think? Was it 57? The Kenneth Moore, it was the same. The original one was Robert Donat, uh, and that was the Hitchcock. And that is still, old black and white movie, a first class movie, an excellent movie. Yeah, Robert Donat from the 1930s. John Laurie's in it, the Scottish actor from Dad's Army. We're doomed. He plays a young farmer in it, and I think that was 
Was that 1939, that one? With Robert Donat. Excellent, beautiful piece of work. So that's that one. That's still very, 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 very watchable. The next one had Kenneth Moore uh, as Richard Henney. And that was in the 50s. And there's certainly a bit on the fourth bridge. And then the next one was, I think, in the 70s with Robert Powell. So there have been three 39 Steps movies. Very exciting. One of them, uh, there's a fair bit at Dumbarton, I think. Yes. Guys, help me out with, uh, with the 39 Steps here. Uh, right, what have we got here? Ah, the wonderful Robert Scrimger. Good evening, Scotty. Did you know that Robert Burns' brother, Gilbert, is buried in East Lothian? Yes. Round the corner from where I used to live, uh, Robert. And I think the mother, I think Burns' mother's buried there. I visited the grave a long time ago. Mrs. Burns, I think. And father and Robert, are they not buried... Now, we, well, Father, I think, is he not buried in, uh, in Ayrshire at the farm at Ellisland? Robert Burns' father's buried there, I think. And the mother and Gilbert in East Lothian. And Robert Burns, is he not in Dumfries? See, when Burns died, he was a pauper. He was a, he was a debtor, the poor soul. And they buried him in the tune heap at Dumfries, the tune hamers. They were terrible to poor old Burns. And uh, and he, he had he had uh, oh what was it he had um, rheumatic fever I think latterly that's kind of what took him away well no it was endocarditis that took him away but he had rheumatic fever and he wrote letters to uh, his debtors you'll get your money and they buried him in the tune heap in Dumfries and then they panicked. Uh, with what they'd done, they felt quite guilty. So they dug him up and his head had rolled away from his body and the hair was pure white. Isn't that interesting? There's a, there's a wee snippet of Burns for you. It's, uh, it's a bit harsh, but, uh, uh, you know, that was, what, uh, that was what happened. And then I think they buried him with full honours. Uh, and that was it. It was a terrific character, Robert Burns. Thirty, he was thirty-six or thirty-seven when he died. Thirty-seven. I think. Um, now, what have we got here? Uh, the publican holds the music licenses. Streaky Bacon. So there you go, Martin. So if you're playing in uh, your music in the pub, the hotelier or the publican will have the license. So there you're sorted. There, Martin. Thank you very much, Streaky. Well, I should know because, you know, I've, I've hung around with enough DJs, professional, top, top, top DJs. Uh, Nicole, it's life. So there we are. Scotty, I went a walk up the Green at Cut the other day. Some amazing views. Have you ever been many, many, many times, David? As a little one, my father used to take us up and we would hide in a hollow tree. The Kelly Cut and the Cornelies Brig and Loch Tom. Tremendous stuff. There we are. 39 steps. Is it not set in Sheffield? Uh, VJ, which one are you talking about? Susan says you learn something new every night. Oh, Susan, you'll get your education with McClue. You stick around. Uh, I know there'll be many, but what radio chat topic do you remember as being the most 